greatest Lord, teach me to be generous. We've just read the story of the Good Samaritan, and it's something that I hope will generate motivation and inspiration for us throughout the year. You know, we're called St. Ignatius Wildcats, and you know, somebody walk around with her all day, her, 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 and Wildcat. It would be cool maybe if we change our name from St. Ignatius Wildcats when we were known as the St. Ignatius Good Samaritans. You know, as people who went out and really tried to practice their faith and lived out in such an extraordinary way. But keep in mind that there were few people who saw the beaten man. There was the priest and the Levite, and there was the Samaritan. All three of them saw this beaten man by the side of the road. But what different? What different was their response to him? The first two, I think, were concerned with the question, what will happen to me if I do something with him? And that's why they walked around him. They were concerned that they might get uh, somehow dirty or be made impure. That somehow they wouldn't be able to do the business of the temple that they were heading to do. And so as a result, busyness took precedence over human need. And then there was this Samaritan, this outcast, who saw the same thing, a beaten man by the side of the road. And rather than saying, letting my busyness, my business, get in the way, he said, this is my business. It's no longer what will happen to me for if I do something to them. It's going to be a question of what will happen to me if I don't do something. Teach me to serve you as I should. To give and not to count the cost. To fight and not to heed the wound. Toil and not to seek for rest, to labor and ask not for reward. Save that of knowing that I.